Okay, everyone, today's lesson might be a little controversial. It probably It's going to be controversial. I'll tell you that right now. It's Arabic curse words. And Arabs seem to take a lot of offense about anybody even telling people that there are curse words in Arabic. Like, um, the, the video I had about hitting on Arab girls, it was... It's received a lot of bad, like, comments, and it wasn't meant in a way to, like, I, I would really never use those in a serious fashion. I would just, like, use them jokingly, the same way I would use some of these phrases. Not all of them, because some of these are pretty bad, jokingly. But um, I wouldn't suggest anybody to use these. It's basically, I'm doing this just so that people know... Arabic curse words so you can hear if, if somebody is cursing around you so you're not totally lost so you know what curse words in Arabic sound like you know so these first four are not really bad it's just like stuff that you would say if somebody like spilled a drink or something or did something small like that well it can be used in different situations but that's just one example okay so the first one is yakta umrak yakta umrak it means literally yakta means cut and Umrak is your life. So it's basically like, may God, like, kill you. Yaqta Umrak. Umrak. It's not really that, that, uh, that bad, though. It's not a bad, it's not, I don't even know if I would consider it a curse word, but it's something that you would say if somebody, like, uh, bumped into you. And you were in a bad mood or something. Yaqta Umrak. Next one. Yakhrib This one is really, really popular. You'll hear it everywhere. Yikhrib betak. Yikhrib betak. Yikhrib means to destroy. Betak is your house. Yikhrib betak. Like, uh, if some, again, if somebody bumps into you, yikhrib betak. It's like, it's kind of like fuck you, but not so intense as that. Next one. Allah ya'atik al afiyat is a common phrase. This one is Allah ya, Allah la ya'atik al afiyat. Allah la yatik al afiyah. This is may God not give you health. And uh, like I said, Allah yatik al afiyah is very common. You can also say this one jokingly. Allah la yatik al afiyah. If somebody in my blog, I gave the example of somebody spills a drink. Like a waiter one time spilled a drink at a restaurant, and this other waiter said, Allah la yatik al afiyah. He was just joking around, but they, it can be said seriously as well. Allah. لا يعطيك العافية. Next one, العمى العمى. This is like it's like damn, and it's put in. You can either use it by by itself or with other phrases. For example, العمى شو جنيت العمى شو جنيت. Like, have you gone crazy? شو جنيت means have you gone crazy? What have you gone crazy? And العمى just like gives it more of an umph to it, gives it more emphasis. Um, now here are the bad ones. Here are the really intense words that you would never want to say to anyone. First one, kiss. Kiss means vagina. Kiss. You've probably heard this one before if you've been dealing with Arabic for a while. And um, I knew a guy whose name was Qusay. And if you're pronouncing Qusay with an English or American accent, it's going to be Qusay. And that's that's like, it sounds like my vagina. Kissi. Qusay. Because you're not saying it with a cough, you're saying it with a calf. And not with a sod, you're saying it with a seen. So that's, again, that's why it's important to get the sounds right of the, of the words that are not in Arabic. So Qusay, not Qusay. Next word, Sharmuta. Sharmuta. And this is like the first Arabic curse word that I learned. Sharmuta. It means whore. Literally and figuratively. You could call somebody a sharmuta. Next one. Sharmuta. Next one is zib. Zib. It means penis. Like dick. Next one. Biz. Means tit or boob. Biz. Plural. Bzez. Plural of zib is zbeb. Next one, please. Please means ass. Please. Next one, air. Air. Ain ya ra. Air. Next one, 
Well, air means the same thing as zib. It means cock, dick. Next one, khara. Khara means shit. Khara. And now here's how you can use these words in, or here's, I should say, here's how these words are used in some phrases, just for examples. Kis ikhtak. Kis ikhtak. Or you can say kis immak. It means, it means, um, like, literally it's your mom or your sister's vagina. Kis ikhtak, your sister's vagina. Kis immak, your mom's vagina. You would say it, it's, it's basically like fuck in English. You, it's not a literal thing. It's, it's more like, it's just like a curse word. Curse words don't always make sense. Like in English, we put fuck after and before everything. We use it as a verb, as a noun, as a, so the logic of it is kind of out the window, but kis ikhtak is basically like fuck in English. Next one. Yibn al-sharmuta. Ya ibn al-sharmuta. You son of a whore. Ya ibn al-sharmuta. Yibn al-sharmuta. You son of a whore. Kind of self-explanatory there. Next one. Mus zibbi. Mus zibbi. Suck my dick. Mus zibbi. Mus mim sad. Mus. Masas adem is a vampire. A basically blood suck. Masas is a sucker. Adem of of blood. Sucker of blood. Vampire. Masas adem. Next one. Il hastizi. Il hastizi. Lick my ass. Il has. Alif lam ha sad. Il hastizi. Lick my ass. Next one. Airi fik. Airi fik. My dick is in you. Airi fik. Airi fik. Next one and last one. Kul khara. Kul is imperative of eat. Kul. Khara. Eat. Shit. Kul khara. Now, again, these are just for educational purposes. Don't go around telling people to kul khara or to musdibak uh, or stuff like that. So basically, just so you know, so you can have some exposure to these words. That's why I made this video. You can go to the arabicstudent.blogspot.com and you can find them all written out with the with the translations and kind of a transliteration in English for people who cannot read Arabic script. And uh, hopefully you learned something. Thanks for watching.